welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the second kind of bracket connection so from the previous video you are aware of this bracket connection right so we are going to see the second kind of bracket connection so what is the difference between the type 1 and type 2 bracket connection it's simple see here this bracket here uh, this bracket plate is being connected to this uh, column uh, which is an I section here and we are connecting this bracket plate with the help of this weld. See weld is in a plane and the load is acting in a plane. If these two planes are same, I mean if both weld and load are in the same plane then it is type 1 bracket connection if they are in two different planes and then we call that connection as type 2 bracket connection okay they are not in the same plane okay if they are not in the same plane type 2 see this load always acts at an eccentricity uh, this eccentricity is measured from the weld up, uh, up to the load that is E0 and therefore the moment due to this uh, is equals to P into E0. Okay. So now uh, this is the other side view. This is this view. See here this is the bracket plate and the weld is done on the both sides. Okay. And this is what we call as depth of weld. This is called as depth of weld D. So this is the depth of the weld. But what is the length of weld is going to be from this figure? We can say that uh, length of weld LW is equals to 2 times of depth of weld. Isn't it right? So 2 into D is equals to LW. Okay, remember that. So now because of this load P, there are two types of stresses that are going to generate. First thing is direct shear stress. Okay, first one is direct shear stress. I'm going to show you the formula, but let me just first write it. Uh, direct shear stress, which is denoted with FA, which is equals to load acting divided by the effective area of weld. Remember, we are trying to calculate the stresses that are developed in the weld because of this load, not in the member, okay, weld, because we are designing the connection. So we are designing the weld. So let us talk about this weld. So if weld fails, the connection is going to fail. And now, you know uh, what is the effective area of the weld, that is throat thickness into LW, isn't it right? Of course, LW is 2 times of uh, uh, T into 2 times of depth of weld. So, you can write T into, I mean 2 into T into T as the effective area of the weld. And the other thing is, there is a movement generated because of this load, that is P into E0. Because of this load, there is going to be a stress developed, okay. Uh, how do we calculate that then? Okay, let me show you this here. Uh, with this figure, uh, with the help of this figure, let me just help you uh, explain this. So, this is the weld, right? This is the moment. I mean, this is the plate here, okay. This is the load acting actually P, and uh, this is the eccentricity E naught, and this is the moment at the weld. So this movement has a thickness, I mean this weld has a thickness of T, a throat thickness and the length is D, effect to, uh, the depth of the weld. And this is at the middle is neutral axis. So you have a stress in the horizontal direction. And that is nothing but FB. So, FB is nothing but the horizontal shear stress that is because of movement. 
I believe you have seen this or ca came across this in your strength of materials when you are dealing with bending stresses or fractural stresses and shear stresses concepts. Okay. So, you know, right. So, now in order to calculate FB, we have to use the bending equation. I mean, moment equation, bending moment equation. What is that bending equation? M by I equals to F by Y. So, F here is nothing but FB. So, FB is equals to M by I into Y. So, we know that this is P into E divided by I into Y. So, what is this Y? Y is the distance between the neutral axis to the extreme layer. That is nothing but D by 2. So, Y is D by 2. Then what is I? I is the moment of inertia of weld. Okay. B D Q by 12. Right. So, now let us calculate that. Let me show you the final values. Uh, right. See, this is the uh, bending equation which I talked about and this is B D square by 12. Of course, we have weld on both sides, right, on both sides of the bracket plate. So, into 2, 2 times of each weld. Uh, that gives you T D cube by 6. Of course, don't get confused with this T. T or T E. Okay, that is nothing but throat thickness of the weld. And now, Y equals to D by 2. I will substitute them in here. You will get this equation. What is this equation? 6 P by 2 T D square. Now, uh, this is, uh, these are the two stresses, FA, FP, direct shear stress, bending shear stress. So, let us find out the resultant or the effective stress, root or FA square plus FB square. Now, we have to check this condition. What is that? So, see here, FU by root 3 gamma MW is nothing but strength of weld, strength of weld. And this effective stress is nothing but this Fe. So, Fe and TNT, they, uh, Fe is nothing but stress that is coming onto this weld because of load P. Weld low develop out in stresses, put in stresses because of load P. Okay. But, Fu by root 3 gamma MW then indicates just the, it indicates the actual strength of weld. So, here the stresses weld with the they have to be less than the capability or strength of the weld, right? Okay, time out on the strength weld and stress sekunte, it is going to fail, right? So that is what we are going to check. So in the next video we are going to discuss problem number eight. Okay, we are going to design a bracket connection type two. Okay. Uh, see you again, right? Thank you.